And good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another solo edition of the Squared Circle Cafe podcast. I am Jeremy Moses. Uh, You can follow me online at JeremyMoses85, and you can follow the show online at SCC Podcast. Um, Earlier this week, of course, I did a SummerSlam uh, review for you guys, but today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, And by a little different, I mean we're going to do something more akin to the first episode that I did here. And specifically, we're going to do a deep dive. Uh, I'm going to dive deep into the recent return, uh, right after SummerSlam, of Sasha Banks. And what I think WWE needs to do with her next. Um... Because I do have some ideas, I do have some opinions. Uh, of course, these opinions are mine, uh, mine alone. Uh, my co-hosts may not agree, and that's fine. We don't agree on everything, uh, despite what some people may choose to think. Uh, we don't agree on everything. Um, <laughs> actually, we I, I think uh, me and Daria were different on several of our predictions uh last week and uh yeah so with that let's just get started um Sasha Banks did return on Monday night's raw uh she returned and got a pretty good pop um for being gone for 4 months and pardon me as i take periodic swigs of caffeine uh, because when you were up at 2.30 yesterday morning and you're still kind of dragging, you need caffeine but I digress um, but Sasha Banks did return on Monday to a huge pop uh, initially she and Natalia looked like they were going to hug it out um and then came the violent, and I mean violent, um, attack. Um, to the point where I was starting to think it was going to go too far. Um, some of those chair shots that she laid in on, um, I think both of them, both Becky Lynch and Natalia seemed a little reckless. Um, seemed like she hadn't swung a chair in a hot minute. Um, it shouldn't affect what they do with her, uh, in my opinion. Um, after all, if you're out of practice, if you're rusty, if you haven't swung a chair in a while, well, you're gonna, you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna have a bad time. And it looked to me like Sasha Banks was having a bad time. Swinging that chair. Um, So I'm not going to hold that against her. But yeesh. Those chair shot. Those chair swings were a little rough. Um, And now we see what they. Now we got to see what they do. And I guess I jumped ahead a little bit. When I mentioned Becky Lynch. Uh, Becky Lynch ran out. I guess ostensibly to save Natalia. And promptly ended up becoming the subject of the attack herself. Which was fine. Um, This was what it needed to be. Even if, again, I think Sasha Banks was a little rough with that chair. Having said that, uh, if you're establishing Sasha as a heel, which I think is what they're doing and what I think they needed to do, because let's face it, there's a shortage of credible woman heels on or credible heels on the women's roster. Both sides. Both sides. Um, I don't think the Iconics are credible anymore. I'd, I wish they were, but they weren't. Uh, or they aren't. Um, because they... <laughs> I mean... They barely defended the 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 tag team championships, and 
And when they did, they found some chicken shit way to get out of it. In my opinion, that's just stupid. In my opinion, that's completely stupid. And I, I, I'm sorry, but they needed to be credible heels, and they weren't. Um, to say nothing of the credibility, the lack of credibility that that gave the title itself, or the uh, tag titles themselves. Um, having said that, looks like Sasha's going to be in the main event, um, or in the uh, top slot on the women's division side of things. For Raw. I'm okay with this. Um, How do I go about it? Okay, this is me booking here. This is... And I'm in no way, shape, or form professional at this. But this is how I'd book it. Um, I I think Becky is starting to cool off. Um, and, And I could be wrong. I could be very wrong, but that's why I would have Sasha win the championship. I would have Sasha take the Raw Women's Championship uh, at the next pay-per-view, Clash of Champions. I would establish Sasha as a credible heel champion for the next... Let's say the next six months after that. Well, let, well, hang on a second. Let me, let me, let me count this out here. So if you if you give her the championship in September, October, November, December, January. Okay, four months. You can go to March if you wanted to. Um, you know what? Let's go to March. Let's go to March. Let's go to March, beginning of April um, of next year. So a six-month run with the Raw Women's Championship. During which time, Sasha looks like a badass heel. Kind of like she did on Monday. Steamrolling everybody in her way. Which is fine. Um... At that point, um, if Ronda Rousey's going to come back, I think you, I think you have Sasha versus Rousey, part two. Um, if you recall, they faced off in Ronda's championship reign, uh, and Ronda won handily. So you have Ronda get give Sasha her come up but on behalf of the entire division. You know what? No, let's back that up. Let's back that up to January. Okay? We're gonna back that up to January because it's gonna play into my longer term longer term plan. At that point once Ronda Beats Sasha. At that point, um, you know you can have Sasha rematch February March, um, and fail. Um, both times. At which point, I would move on to the long thought or long promised. Sasha or a Ronda Becky match at WrestleMania 36 in Tampa. Um, meanwhile, Sasha makes a move over to SmackDown, perhaps. Uh, or actually, not meanwhile, but maybe you can move Sasha over to SmackDown at that point. Um, but here's here here's the problem, okay? 
and, and there is a problem with my fantasy booking uh, at that point. If I move Sasha to SmackDown, who's the champion over there? If it's if it's Charlotte, as I'm almost afraid it's going to be, I don't do that because, um, you know, you 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 can't really have a. I mean, it, it's been pulled off. I'm sure it's been pulled off. A credible, decent heel versus heel match, but. Even then, uh, I I just, I I don't know. Um, I don't know that I'd do that. But, you know what? We're just going to make this into a deep dive into the entire, into the entire women's division. Both sides, Raw and SmackDown. Okay? So now that I've covered the Raw side for the next six months uh six eight months what about what about smackdown it still seems apparent to me that we're gonna get uh bailey versus charlotte again and it still seems apparent to me that charlotte's gonna win the title again I have no interest in seeing that, but it seems like that's where they're going. Bailey is damaged beyond belief. I mean, she just is. Um, I really don't know where to go with her. Um, at this point, you might as well just scrap her and start over uh and i hate saying that because initially when she came in back bailey was one of my favorite uh women on the on the uh in the division but uh, she's just damaged she's damaged and i'm sorry but as much as ember moon would have been a fresh face there was no reason to believe she was going to win um the other day or last week and she didn't what does that do to her i mean we need to develop characters for her the, we need to develop her character you know give her some depth for god's sakes what is depth going to hurt anybody uh, and you could say this about several of the men as well, but this is not about men. The men's division is about the women. Uh, you know, I, I I just don't feel like they've given them enough depth. Um, so what do you do at this point in the game? I, you know, you need to give. Uh, Ember Moon some depth. You need to just scrap Bailey and start over. You know, rebuild her from scratch, basically. And just and, and do it right. That, that that's the problem here. They they didn't do it right. Um, and the the symptoms of that really started going all the way back to Bailey's first WWE Women's Championship reign. Uh, um, if you recall, she won that off of interference, and instead of you know admitting she had wrongly won, she just said heck no I'm keeping this title what (laughs) you know Uh, so right there they did damage to Bailey Uh, the the character Bailey in NXT was money 
NXT Bailey was money. WWE Bailey, uh, more like losing money, if you ask me. Um, but again, you know, and and these are only my opinions. I have to stress that. You know, some of y'all may like what they're doing. That's fine. I think she's damaged and needs a rebuild. As do um as do several of the men's stars, but again, you know, we're not gonna get into that. That requires a whole other podcast. And I think we only get like three hours per recording. So and I think I'd need all three hours for that. Um but you know, um if we're gonna have Charlotte win the SmackDown Women's Championship. You know, I don't want to see it lead to another triple threat at WrestleMania. Um, needs to be a one-on-one situation. Who would I put in that one-on-one? Hmm. Right now... I'm struggling to come up with anybody. That's that's a problem. That's a huge problem. Um, I mean, you could maybe turn Billy and uh, you could maybe turn Billy or Peyton face. Um, have them face off with Charlotte because I'd keep Charlotte heel um, going into Wrestlemania 36 but uh, I just other than that I just don't know where you go between now and and Wrestlemania 36 with Charlotte that doesn't feel like it's been done before I mean sure you could go to uh, Ember Moon again have her face off with Charlotte but again it comes back to you need to develop the ba- the Ember Moon character, and and I just don't have faith in WWE to do that. Um, I mean, once this title run between or with once the uh, women's tag title run of Nikki Cross, Nikki Cross, and uh, Alexa Bliss is over. Maybe you could turn. You could when you split them off. You know, do that program real quick, and then, well, maybe not real quick, but do that program, and then have um, Nikki spin off to feud with Charlotte. You know, that that would be fine because I think we all assume. That once they lose the women's tag titles, Alexa's going to turn on Nikki Cross. We all assume that's going to happen. If you're going to do that, you better make Nikki look good. That's all I got to say about that. But uh, I'm going to end it on that note again. You follow me at Jeremy Moses 85 Follow the show at SCC Podcast, both on Twitter. Uh, you can find us on Facebook at Squared Circle Cafe. Uh, hit us with uh, anything you got. Uh, I believe we are Squared Circle Cafe at gmail.com. You can find us uh, on the internet uh, at squaredcircafe.net, I believe. Um, and that's it. So, in the meantime, until either Daria. One of these days, JC or myself come back with another edition. This has been the Squirt Circle Cafe podcast, the podcast by wrestling fans for wrestling fans. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, everybody.